A couple of big twists in the trial of Elizabeth Holmes today, including how much money the company had and spent, and the first appearance of one of the young whistleblowers. Let's bring in our business and tech reporter, Scott Budman, who was in court this morning. Scott, we're talking about a lot of money here, right? Yeah, we are, Garvin. And what Elizabeth Holmes and Theranos did with that money took up most of the day in court today. Holmes arrived this morning holding her mother's hand in the courtroom in San Jose. Someone in line yelling out, you're a good mother, but Holmes did not respond. Now, once inside, former Theranos controller Denise Yam was on the stand. She testified that Theranos lost tens of millions of dollars during the years they were bringing in hundreds of millions in investment dollars. She also testified that Holmes herself pulled in a salary of up to $400,000 a year while eventually flying around in a corporate jet. Then, towards the end of the day, the first appearance of Erica Chung. She's the former Theranos employer turned whistleblower. She testified today that the Edison machines, which Theranos told investors were going to change the way we test for blood, didn't work. If Elizabeth Holmes and Sunny were building machines that weren't yet functioning as they were supposed to be functioning, but believed that they would get there, that's not going to rise to the level of crime. If conversely, they knew that Edison was an empty box and it was essentially never going to work, and they were holding out to the world, to patients and to investors that it would be, that may rise to the level of a crime. Scott, how far did today's testimony go to proving that Holmes defrauded the investors? It didn't go very far yet, Garvin. After all, plenty of companies have brought in hundreds of millions, even billions of dollars in investment and ultimately were unable to pay out, sometimes because something didn't work. But intent is the key here. We don't know if Holmes knew in advance that those machines didn't work and still told investors and patients that they did. That would be criminal today. We just sort of started down that path. Uh, speaking of which, what are we likely to see coming next? I think we're going to see tomorrow uh, Erica Chung is going to take second uh, center stage. She is one of two whistleblowers that we know are going to testify. Uh, and I think as she gets into testimony, they started to grill her today on what she knew and what she tried to communicate to other executives, including Elizabeth Holmes at the company. We should hear a lot more about that tomorrow. Scott, thanks for keeping us up to date on this fascinating trial.